We start with breaking news coming in, viewers. Home Minister Amit Shah today reviewed the security situation in Manipur in a meeting with senior officials in the national capital. Now, he is all set to hold a detailed meeting over this issue in North Block tomorrow. Security scenario in Manipur has remained fragile for the past few days, viewers. And uh, remember, after the recovery of six dead bodies, the tensions have only escalated. Manipur is right now on the edge as we speak. The Home Minister, remember, today uh, cancelled the rallies he had in uh, Vidarbha region of Maharashtra ahead of the assembly elections there. He rushed to the national capital to hold this uh, high-level meeting to review the security situation. And uh, remember, we were said there have been a, an under indefinite curfew that has been uh, imposed in uh, Union Minister, Home, uh, Union Home Minister, Amisha, remember viewers, have, uh, has uh, taken stock of the situation. And uh, tomorrow there will be a detailed meeting. And remember three women, three children who lived in a relief camp had, been, had gone missing uh, after a gunfight between uh, security forces and uh, terrorists. After that, uh, their uh, bodies were recovered. And uh, now... The Home Minister also had to review the situation after fresh violence in Manipur. We have some more breaking news coming in, viewers, as we speak. Uh, this regarding the NPP now withdrawing its support to be reigns in government. Now Congress is also seeking early elections. The Congress MLAs are ready to resign to force a mid-term poll. So that's what we are getting right now. Uh, there is, of course, uh, a growing criticism for uh, N. Biren Singh, the Chief Minister of Manipur. Now, the Congress MLAs are saying that they are ready to resign so that there is a mid-term poll in Manipur. NPP, remember, has already pulled out of Manipur government, alleging uh, failure to restore normalcy. Now, it's a BGP led NDA government, remember, we was in Manipur. NPP has pulled out its support. Now, what really happens from now on? That is also a matter of question. BJP has 32 seats, NPF 5, NPP 7, JDU 6. Now, Congress has five seats, viewers. And uh, two seats are by the Cookie People's Alliance. They had also withdrawn support earlier to the NDA government. There are three independent uh, seats, independents holding three seats now. So uh, now, of course, uh, the threat looming large on uh, uh, the uh, Biren Singh government, the NPP led by Conrad Sangma, announced its decision to withdraw support from the BGP-led government. NPP, remember, holds seven seats in the 60-member legislative um, assembly, but the move, as far as the NPP is concerned, is unlikely to destabilize the government in Manipur. BGP maintains a clear majority with 32 seats, but now we have the Congress uh, making attempts, uh, saying that it is ready to resign so that there is a midterm poll, that, that there's, the situation starts demanding a midterm poll. Anirudha, my colleague, joins us live on the broadcast from Manipur. Anirudha, of course, said the NPP has uh, withdrawn its support to the Bahrain Singh government. Uh, however, we do, do not, uh, if, if you see, go by the numbers, it doesn't really look like that it is going to affect Bahrain Singh government much. It's going to be, uh, affect the BGP much, much. But now the Congress MLAs are also saying that they are ready to resign so as to force a midterm poll. How do we see this development? Yes, these are the visuals live from Imphal, and as you can see, Army Flagmas is on in different parts of Imphal. Right now, we are reporting from outside the Kangla Fort, the Kangla Gate, and you can see a huge presence of the security forces uh, as well as the army flagmas. These are visuals on your screen where the army is conducting flagmas on the streets of Imphal as the law and order situation continues to remain on the edge. Happy security deployment can be seen in and around uh, Imphal with uh, the law and order situation uh, being on the edge. These are the visuals, uh, live visuals coming in from Imphal.
the army has just started a flag march. They are conducting flag march at different places. Earlier, we saw you visuals of the CRPF ADZ uh, patrolling the roads of Imphal and now the army flag march is also on. There is heavy movement of security forces all across Imphal in order to ensure peace and stability as Union Home Minister Amit Shah has also done a series of meetings today to take stock of the security scenario in the state of Manipur as Manipur continues to remain on the AIDS studio. Yes, and Rudha, of course, the situation remains uh, grim. Uh, also tell us about uh, uh, what uh, steps will the centre is likely to take up. Of course, today, uh, the Home Minister, uh, you know, he held an, a, a, a meeting, a high-level security meeting with security officials. Tomorrow, there's going to be another meeting in the North Block. Uh, but what are you expecting from here on? What is the centre doing to actually contain the situation and uh, bring back some normalcy, at least? Uh, because even the government, there's a support is also now, uh, you know, diminishing. Uh, the Congress is also making its uh, moves now uh, so as to force a midterm poll. Uh, yes, uh, the Congress uh, president of uh, Manipur, uh, uh, Megasandra, has clearly indicated that uh, the Congress party is ready for a uh, midterm poll if uh, necessary. And he has said that uh, the Congress is ready for a people's mandate, for a fresh people's mandate if required. And on the other hand, we also spoke uh, to NPP National Vice President and former Deputy Chief Minister of Manipur, Y. Zoy Kuma, just minutes after NPP National President Conrad Sangma has written to Zepi Nadda withdrawing support from the Anbiran Singh-led uh, BJP government in Manipur. Uh, Y. Zoy Kumar has also said that the, the NPP's stand is very clear. They are ready to work closely with any government or any civil minister, uh, whoever comes, but uh, not with this government be led by and balancing as this government has failed to bring peace and stability. Uh, Wise Oy Kumar has also said that if the center, it is the center's call to uh, give a fresh, to go for a fresh mandate or not, if the center takes a call, the NPP also do not have any hesitation for, to face the fresh uh, poll in the state of Manipur. All right. Thank Thanks you very much, uh, Anirudha, for joining us with those details coming in, viewers. We will continue to go back to Anirudha. The situation is uh, right now developing and uh, uh, more measures are taken up by the centre so as to control the situation in the state, viewers.